The instance of Martha del Caso Martha del Castillo was brought into the world on June 19, 1991 in common Spain to Eva Casanova and Antonio del Castillo She was a 17-year-old juvenile going to secondary school until one day her life took a horrendous turn on January 24, 2009 Martha was visiting with Silvia Fernandes her dearest companion when out of nowhere Martha finished the discussion she let her companion know that she needed to leave and that she was in a rush since her beau Miguel Carcano was standing by first floor she expected to converse with him to explain some things about their relationship and guaranteed that she would let everything know when she returned in the lobby Martha ran into her dad who prompted her not to get on Miguel's cruiser the main reaction he got from his girl was a kiss on the cheek at 5.30 p.m. Martha left her home and as the hours passed and she didn't return her family started to concern her mom chose to call all colleagues who could have data about her little girl's whereabouts including Carano the consistent reaction was that Martha must be with Miguel he should know where she was anyway after the young fellow didn't answer the calls Martha's dad chose to move toward the kids home over and over rang the chime yet nobody opened the entryway in the end they could contact somebody who had seen her that evening Samuel Benitez a dear companion of Miguel at that point Martha's mom saw what was going on the young fellow told her that Miguel had gone out at 12 p.m. which was conceivable as it was just 11.45 at 2 a.m. Martha's Family at long last revealed her vanishing however they never thought that it would become quite possibly of the most pitched case in the country's set of experiences four hours after the fact the subtleties of who was at that point a suspect Martha's sweetheart Miguel Carano were given at 1.30 p.m. A third report was documented the police didn't make a move and the family turned out to be progressively eager just a brief time after the principal demand for help as laid out by the convention they Officials started looking for Martha soon after the vanishing the family. Chosen to take explanations from family members and companions of the little kid on January 27, 2009 the main public interview was held while the Guardians began a mission to find the little kid the next day 2000 individuals fought in Seville requiring the little kid's return under the motto We Are All Martha on February 7 another showing was met gathering around 3000 individuals the case reverberated on TV and in papers following 21 days of looking through on February 13 the police at last found Miguel Carano they 20-year-old took care of the case expressing he had killed Martha and unloaded her body into the Guave Stream waterway extremely near his condo he likewise shared an essential snippet of data he didn't commit the terrible demonstrations alone he distinguished Samuel Benitez as one of his assistant guaranteeing he discarded the body Benitez acknowledged the fault later Miguel recognized Javier Garcia Marin a tricky minor known as ELO and Francisco Delgado Carano's sibling and his better half. Maria Garcia. As associates each of the five were captured the cross-examinations prompted a flood of inconsistencies and all the while the fastidious quest for Martha's body in the stream started on February 16 Carcano emphasized his explanation before an appointed authority not at all like his companion Samuel who believed that nothing should do with the case he guaranteed he had not been associated with Martha's homicide and simply admitted because of police badgering on Walk 18 Miguel Carcano mentioned to offer one more expression and changed his variant of occasions gripping both he and El Cucco. Man handled Martha at Nif point after which the miner choked her they then took her body to Delgado's home and later tossed it into a trash can following these statements the appointed authority requested the suspension of the pursuit in the Galaf waterway and guided the hunt to a landfill Martha's dad even blamed Delgado's sweetheart as her dad worked at an organic waste crematorium he estimated that the body could have been burned this hypothesis got some decent forward movement however they Police proceeded with their inquiry on November 16. 2009 El Cucco surpassed the greatest term for preventive detainment and was moved to a directed level anticipating preliminary in February 2011 he was attempted once more this time for misuse and murder anyway because of lacking proof he was cleared of these charges however was condemned to two years and 11 months in an adolescent confinement place for concealing for Carano on October 17. 2011 the preliminary at last started against the four grown-up litigants engaged with the case Miguel Carcano. Gave more insights concerning Martha's homicide expressing he
had hit her with an ashtray during a warmed contention causing her passing he uncovered his past proclamations about mishandling her were lies his sibling his sibling's sweetheart and Benitez guaranteed honesty and declared obliviousness about the area of Martha's body stating Carcano manufactured stories to diminish his responsibility by November 22, 2011 the legal police affirmed that they had found hints of Martha's blood on Miguel's coat and a blend of his and Maria Garcia's hereditary. Profiles on a roll of, texture tape dignitary and a from Francisco Delgado and the previously mentioned lady was likewise found on an expansion link accepted to have been utilized to choke Martha this was uncommon as the blamed continued to demand that she had just been at the crime location in the early morning and knew nothing about the whole episode in the wake of uncovering the falsehood Maria Garcia was blamed for despoiling the body and conceal the police additionally distinguished up to five fingerprints on. Three liquor bottles one having a place with El Cuco the only one against whom there was no proof was Benitez by this point the five young people were at that point under the examination of the whole populace the underlying preliminaries were held with significant police presence and the indictment doled out jail a long time for Carcano Benitez Delgado and Garcia including a sum of 90 observers including public cops and specialists the help of 30,000 pH monitorings crime location photos DNA found by the legal police and things found at the house situated at Leon 13 were viewed as the preliminaries had caused such a public ruckus. That individual squeezed against the police cordon to get the blamed LLY requesting the appearance for Martha's body Delgado and his sweetheart seemed covered with Bacchus and shades however they actually couldn't get away from the group a woman moved toward them and began in offending them others attempted to eliminate their glasses while pushing them so everybody could see their countenances during the preliminary LO's mom was consulted her face covered she stated her child's guiltlessness and guaranteed neither she nor he had a ton of insight into. Martha's body she was named a liar by writers yet didn't mind she actually got an amount of 10,000 euros for being consulted a couple of days after the fact Martha's family asked that her profit from the program be managed and that the cash be utilized to confront her child's sentence during the procedures a key observer seemed the cabbie who shipped Delgado the evening of the wrongdoing he expressed that he was exceptionally mindful of the travelers he got as a partner had been killed while working. As of late. He got a bare man with a facial hair growth matching Delgado's depiction who had a plastic pack and taken a gander at him eagerly he took him to Leon 13th Road exactly where the wrongdoing had happened and the charge was 8 euros anyway Delgado's guard legal counselor scrutinized this proof guaranteeing the fare for the 2 kilometers shrouded in those years ought to have been 5 euros not 8 consequently undermining the explanation when Martha's folks stood up they referenced the significant Agony the circumstance was, causing they needed to stop their positions start mental drugs and even foster gloom their other her two little girls Martha's sisters were likewise going through a terrible time they simply believed everything should end to add to the aggravation the jury's decision in January 2012 didn't fulfill the family Carcano wound up as the sole party in question for the little youngster's homicide and was condemned to 21 years and 90 days in jail moreover for the following 30 years he is restricted. From dwelling in the city where, the casualties folks and sisters inhabit a similar time Carcano ought to pay some portion of the preliminary expenses and remunerate the casualties folks with 280,000 and every one of her sisters with 30,000 euros for the ethical harm brought about by Martha's homicide and vanishing in the interim Delgado Maria Garcia and Sanal Benitez were delivered as there was no proof setting them at the crime location at the hour of the homicide the next year Delgado and Benetz requested Martha's family pay for. The preliminary costs Martha's dad expressed he would look for equity past public lines as he accepted the framework in Spain was outdated he even guaranteed he would go to Strasbourg home to the European Parliament and the European Court of Basic Freedoms in December 2011 Martha's mom composed a letter to Carcano and sent it to jail requesting that he end the torment of vulnerability she felt because of the shortfall of her little girl body she believed Martha should find happiness in the hereafter where she could carry her blossoms and converse with her anyway the letter never got a reaction on January 24, 2012-3.
Years after Martha's vanishing shows happened in different urban communities and towns in Spain requesting equity for the little kid in jail Carcano was undermined by different prisoners and later endeavored self-destruction he was confessed to a restorative module and didn't get guests or converse with anybody on the telephone the youthful killer was extremely in the middle of during his detainment making up to seven unique variants of the wrongdoing prompting a few legal counselors leaving. Safeguarding him the most recent rendition in 2013 embroiled somebody close. To him as the culprit of the wrongdoing Carcano discussed a contention among him and his sibling over the home loan for the house at Leon 13 he sent a letter to the family communicating his desire to quit covering for Delgado as per this rendition a battle followed over a deceitful credit the discussion raised to the point that Delgado undermined his sibling with a weapon when Martha attempted to intercede she purportedly got a lethal blow with the handle of Delgado's firearm Delgado then, at that point settled on a decision and Miguel claims he doesn't have the foggiest idea what its identity was coordinated to or what was examined yet he recollects that he then, at that point, ran out of the house leaving Martha dead in the room it was then that El Cucco showed up and Miguel requested his assistance to discard the body utilizing a wheelchair they moved the body to the Mahila homestead in Lanata and covered it there Martha's folks accepted Carano's variant and held him in high regard notwithstanding all that had happened they mentioned the returning of the examination zeroing in on Miguel's sibling this time anyway neither they Arraignment nor the adjudicator gave weight to the assertions Martha's dad chose to visit Carano in jail himself requesting that he team up he even let him know he had purchased the house at Lawn 13 and that it would be his in the wake of carrying out his punishment assuming he helped find his little girl's body the quest for Martha's body was one of the most costly in the country's set of experiences enveloping both land and ocean to find the youngster the principal search was directed in the GUID Alaver Waterway Anyway a few irregularities were found when specialists attempted to reproduce the exchange from Leon 13's floor it was outside the realm of possibilities for three individuals for this situation ELO Carano and Benitez to move together on a bike particularly conveying Martha's body in the reenactment the body tumbled to the ground the second the motor turned over when Carano guaranteed that the body had been tossed in a garbage can the hunt started in the landfill that gets all the load from common because of the time passed since the little kids vanishing and the tremendous measure of waste got by the landfill the search group assessed they would need to eliminate around 40,000 tons of trash to get some outcome they looked for a sum of 32 days without progress the denounced referenced up to four unique places where the body was provoking new quests each time on one event the then inside clergyman Alfredo Perez needed to stop the pursuit as the service of economy and money was hitting bottom financially in April 2013 in the wake of highlighting his sibling as Martha's genuine killer Carano gave another area for the body. Close to the district of Lane, Canada in spite of losing practically all believability after such countless bogus variants another hunt was settled on Carcano went with the cops to where he professed to have covered Martha's body alongside Delgado on that evening in 209 he didn't give exact bearings he just outlined the region where he accepted they had unloaded the body the dirt of six homesteads was exhumed zeroing in on places where as per a review finished with a Jordar there had been earth developments as of late altogether. An area of 10,000 square m was examined however once more nothing was found all the hunts were to no end in line with the guardians the quest for the body was stopped until 2015 the public service asked the litigants to together repay the service of the inside with an amount of 66,329 Oscar introduced himself to Rosolia Cuo's mom at as a criminal yet as a general rule he was an infiltrator looking for an admission basic words that could reveal some insight into Martha's whereabouts after some time they started to habitually meet, seeing each other each two or three days and talk day to day on the telephone Rosalia entrusted him with the keys to her home they shared confidences went for long strolls near the ocean he acquired her trust and prevailed upon her he even caused her to accept that they would leave together for some country in Eastern Europe once everything finished for her child for two and one two years Oscar recorded 600 hours of discussion among Rosalia and her environmental factors in October 2011 LCUO was at that 
Point conceded discharge licenses from the adolescent community to which he had been. Sent for concealing for Carano during a discussion Oscar inquired as to whether he suspected the police were following him to which El Cucco answered positively declaring they would do as such to find out where they disposed of Martha this assertion perpetually implicated him subsequent to completing the process of talking LCUO promptly acknowledged what he had said and immediately redressed stating he hadn't done anything while Oscar cooperated as though he hadn't seen in different tapes L. CUO derided the police's endeavours to find the body and Rosalia examined. How inept the specialists had been for not reviewing the calls from her cell phone in spite of the difficult work of the man those 600 hours of accounts were never judicialized just a short time after Martha's vanishing accomplished the infiltrator's work yield results on May 26, 2022 Many individuals particularly neighbors of Martha's family assembled at the town hall entryways needing to go with them because of the festival of the new legal cycle Rosalia and ELO showed up at the town hall. Safeguarded by the police the young fellow was completely covered wearing a huge hoodie a balakot shades and even gloves Rosalia was wearing shades a veil and a headscarf in 2011 LCUO proclaimed that he had not been in that frame of mind on Lion 13 Road where the wrongdoing happened however with a few companions he said he had returned home at 11.30 around evening time and had met his mom's accomplice who had gone out to toss out the trash then had gone up to his home and had not left until the end of the night Rosalia as far as it matters for her said she had gone out with her accomplice for drinks around 11.30 around evening time and had gotten back around 1.30 in the first part of the day on January 25th finding her child sleeping there ELO admitted that the evening of January 24th Carano called him in the wake of having killed Martha and requested that him for assist with covering her body alongside Benitez they took his mom's vehicle and went to Leon 13 where Delgado was additionally found in the meantime Rosalia was at the bar and remained there until 4.30 toward the beginning of the day when she returned home her child was all the while missing both El Cucco and his mom were accused of prevarication the demonstration irritated by having impeded the legal system progressing beginning around 2009 both ELO and Rosalia acknowledged liability regarding their demonstrations the preliminary was held and the adjudicator suspended all planned observer explanations leaving Martha's folks troubled as they had called Carcano to affirm in trusts he would at long last uncover their girls whereabouts on June 9th. 2022 the two El Cuco and Rosolia were condemned to two and a two years in jail and the appointed authority likewise forced a fine of one euro 1440 each and a common risk installment of 30,000 euros to Martha's folks anyway. They couldn't have cared less about the cash they actually believed only one thing should find the body of their girl that very year the analytical adjudicator approved the master to get to the cell phones of Carano and Martha anyway he didn't allow authorization to do likewise with the other people associated with the case as there right now is no proof against them Carcano agreed to his telephone being analyzed demanding they would find proof highlighting his sibling as the real killer yet. The primary objective was to decide the area of the urns looked for body albeit searching for new leads in the lawbreaker case was denied the master never presented his discoveries and subsequently the case was shut endlessly in November 2022 13 years after Martha's homicide the common court chose to close the different examination for the hunt of the body considering the legitimately specified examination time frame as terminated with no new huge revelations Martha's folks dealt with the way that Carcano could never uncover the area of their girl's body and chosen to sell the level where the wrongdoing happened Martha's case will join endless other unsettled cases overall with records social occasion dust on a work area.